Yes, Chris and Mike, we watched tonight as people of McKeesport came down to line the sidewalk outside of UPMC McKeesport and watch as that procession left with Officer Sliganski and also people later meeting in uh, later in the night at area churches, just gathering together to pray not only for the families of those two officers, but also the community as a whole. McKeesport police officers saluting one of their own, fallen officer Sean Sliganski. The McKeesport mayor offering his community this message. To, to the neighbors and to, to, the, to the residents, just, just pray for our city and uh, we'll get through this. Allegheny County Police said McKeesport officers Sean Sliganski and Charles Thomas were responding to a domestic call and approached the suspect, said to be experiencing a mental health crisis. The suspect suddenly produced a handgun and shot the two McKeesport officers. We're just different. We see past, you know, we don't just look at like, oh my gosh, and like um, attack the shooter, right? Like we want to dig deep and we want to figure out why. Jen Keller's mother lives close to the scene on Grandview Avenue. In an attempt to understand why there was such a heavy police presence, they checked their ring camera footage. We didn't know yet, like what was going on. And then she went back and it had caught the whole scene um, on her ring. She and many others came to McKeesport area shared ministry United Methodist Church tonight and St. Patrick's Church to pray. The church is right here in the heart of the community and so we wanted to open our doors for those who wanted to gather uh, together. We will step up and support the families that were affected and help them in any way possible. Alongside former McKeesport Mayor, now State Senator Jim Brewster. We'll be stronger tomorrow, but today we have to be with the families and with the fellow officers. And fortunately, Officer Thomas has been discharged from the hospital. He is at home recovering with family tonight. Reporting live in McKeesport, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.